In April 2015, the ministers of the Council of Europe through the state parties to the European Pharmacopoeia Convention adopted a resolution recommending to European governments to step up the promotion of six recommendations. A system like an advisory body should be established, which would include the health ministry, clinicians, payers, regulators and patient representatives amongst others to make multidisciplinary and optimal decisions for treatment and care. The minimum factor 8 consumption level in a country should be 3 international units per capita. Below this amount, joints and muscle damages and deaths are more likely. Decisions on whether to adopt new product should not be based solely on cost. It is paramount to have a long-term perspective and to take into account criteria such as product's quality, safety and efficacy. Prophylaxis is a real investment in terms of costs and bleeds saved. It should be provided in individuals when required and for children with inhibitors who have failed or are not suitable for immune tolerance therapy. This is to avoid pain and disability. For patients with rare bleeding disorders, single factor concentrates should be used whenever possible. As many as 30% of patients with rare bleeding disorders are treated with non-specific products. This situation is unacceptable and needs to be rectified. I urge European governments to implement these recommendations without delay to ensure a better quality of life for all people with haemophilia and related bleeding disorders in Europe.